Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Again, we're getting a nice little pseudo streak going on here with no Zane compromises. Good rate of fire, okay damage, speed is acceptable. Uh, spacebar item is is mildly better than acceptable, I would suggest. It's pretty okay. I wish it did more damage, like the fact that it kind of didn't kill that champion in negative 10 seconds, I think, tells you everything you need to know about the damage that Black Hole did. But it also uh, saved me from having to worry, like, basically at all about my survival here. So I'm, I'm relatively pro Black Hole. I think it's a, it's a balanced item. A well-balanced item, I should say, because all items are balanced. In their own unique way, but... I can tell already. Yep, I knew it. Twitter, what do you think kind of existence I lead? That I want Bloomberg tech news playing constantly in the right sidebar. Do you think I'm a, a like venture capitalist in Silicon Valley? I'm, I recognize I do work in in tech in like the most tangential way possible. I basically am like an idiot. Wait a minute, this breaks rocks, right? Who works with computers. And as a result, are you, are you targeting? I don't understand if you're targeting me with these advertisements. I don't, I'm not in the kind of position to buy, you know, Snapchat's new IPO. It's, I, I recognize that maybe a lot of people are interested in it, but at the same time, you don't need to autoplay it. At least give me a play button or something like that. I'm not salty that the that the news exists. I'm just salty that you choose to autoplay it without my, um, without my permission. Or without my authorization. I don't want to phrase it in a way that's good here, but... I don't know, maybe Bloomberg's giving you Jim Cramer-style mad money for that. George Clooney-style... Money monster for that. I saw that movie on an airplane, as I see many movies in this day and age, and I thought that it was. This is the least interesting bit we've ever done in an episode. I thought that George Clooney's Money Monster with Julia Roberts was a solid five and a half to six out of ten. Not a memorable movie, but at the same time, a relatively enjoyable. Uh, experience at the time that I did not feel like I wasted my time watching. How about that, Gene Siskel, if that is your real name? That is a huge speed upgrade, man. And uh, I actually feel like pretty good about the quality of this run right now. Now that we've got a little bit of HP, the finger does damage over the rock, as you can see, so I'm kind of using it as like the world's worst uh, spectral tier, but. Especially against champions, it seems advisable to not put myself too far into uh, harm's way here. Yeah, piercing shots is also lovely. Okay, well there's another... This isn't Bloomberg Tech. This is a Skype message. At some point, you gotta learn to blame yourself. <laughs> for, for having Skype open. I actually, like by the time you're watching this, the Skype frame rate slowdown should be a thing of the past, which is going to be like, you know, sad. It's going to be a passage of time. But effectively, I haven't been using this computer since 2012, but like parts of this computer have been part of my recording setup since 2012. I got a new computer that is 100% um, brand new, which is exciting. Because this is kind of like a Frankenstein's monster sort of sort of situation, and I would never recommend this. Uh, at least if you use your computer for work. It ended up... I shouldn't have picked that up. It didn't matter, but I still shouldn't have picked it up. It ended up working out okay. And I do mean okay. It wasn't seamless, but... Dude, like, I, I tried to save a little bit of money on my last computer. Maybe two years ago, if you remember the Mr. Green Man debacle. Um, by... Uh... Why do I feel like my rate of fire got worse there? But it, it didn't. I'm just losing it. Uh, by by taking some of the parts of my old computer and moving them into this one. Like, for example, I think I, I took my solid state hard drive that had the OS on it. And I was like, ah, oh, we don't need to do a fresh OS reinstall. We'll just 
port over the existing hard drive. It's caused all sorts of like driver conflicts and stuff like that. This thing's had like four video cards in it and that's not even an exaggerate. That might be an underestimation or an underestimate of the number of video cards that have been in this thing. So take it from me if you're like, if you're watching this and you're a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or just like, you, the performance of your PC is integral to your existence. Just get a new one, dude. People will tell you, uh... Pe people will min-max the, the creation of a, of a computer, and that's a good thing because computers are expensive. And I think for the, for the average user... I'm not saying I'm an above-average user, just I'm an aberration as far as users go. Um... For an average user, it's good, you know, if you can save a few hundred dollars by reusing parts from your old PC in your new one, then go for it. And if you're like a computer engineer or you've got the skills to, to handle this modularly, go for it. But if you're only pseudo-technically literate on a hardware level, which is how I would describe myself if I'm being flattering on a, you know, self-portrait level, um, then just, you know, go, go for brand new. It'll pay dividends, in terms of, like, your mental health, I, I promise. But anyway, we should have a new setup, and hopefully everything there will be working completely fine when that happens. Uh, I'm gonna give you one spirit heart. I gave you one and a half. Should not have done that, in case that's not abundantly clear. Now, I'm a very scared individual. I have Bob's brain. Stay away from me, please. I have Bob's brain and half of a spirit heart. But you know what? This is the kind of... This is how you test your metal. It's also how you test your chest, Loveless. One at a, one at a time. One at a time. Very easy. One at a time. Two at a time, that time. Good work, team. There's no way that's gonna be a secret room, but I have to check because it looks like a secret room. Is this always the magician? No, this card is different, okay. So we're gonna come to the big room, yeah. pop our death card. My favorite form of pasta, pop a death card. You sh why would I? Why do this? Is the question that I find myself asking right now. This was not necessary. I, why? Why invite this stress into your Isaac life? I even, like, it's so predictable that it could have happened. Oh, I thought I would be at one spirit heart instead of a half spirit heart. That's a little bit of a, of a cop out, I think. Half a spirit heart is is worse, and it's probably much worse, but it's not that much worse. We're faced with a with a, a an enviable situation here because I have to do more rooms to get to the shop. Every room that we do gives us a fairly decent chance to die. This is actually like a very pleasant room. As long as their range can't affect me. I think we'll get a full black hole charge. So the, the big positive here is that the black hole is very good at uh, keeping us going. As long as we have it active, whatever room we use it on, we're pretty unlikely to be hit, I think. And we can also use it to destroy rocks, although that's highly secondary. Alright. Obviously, I do want to look at that, but we can't necessarily justify it right now. In theory, like, once we make it to the shop, we should be fine here, and then we can all look back on this and laugh and go, ah ha 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 remember that time NL tried to cheat the system and almost died in the process by being an absolute idiot? We'll all look back on that as, as a glorious little uh, endeavor in our shared history together. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just, I'm scared, okay? Handled this room properly. I don't, I don't care about saving bombs. I care about, like, giving myself the least chance possible to get hit. 
Little Baggy is almost untakeable. It's not like I'm too attached to the Magician card, but... Little Baggy itself is, is just awful. Um, please... Oh, that hurts. And also, that Mushroom could have killed us. We have a Spirit Heart. That's all that matters. Watch out, Bob's Brain. Wanna buy the Steam Sale. Two luck upgrades. So we should be fine in here. I'm not taking uh, blue candle, at least not intentionally. Black hole's been doing fine. We have eased ourselves out of what was destined to be a terrible situation. Seemed destined to be a terrible situation, at least. 12 cents. We got so many bombs, we might as well, you know, go for broke here. Buy a couple of items, ideally. Okay, we'll get chaos. And we'll buy this, and we can still afford one item after that. Justice. Keep throwing bombs. We got 15 cents, actually. Dude, absolutely contract from below. Um, I actually think we should go for Lost Fly as well. And the reasoning there pretty much just comes down to... Uh... Come on. You phased over, but you won't phase back? Maybe it used a rock or something on the way? I'm not sure. Anyway, I, I basically did that to try to get some more money to buy more items, but this is fine. Especially if we can get some more reroll machines. We essentially navigated out of my own idiocy, which is always nice. Uh, I, I really would love some DPS. We're one item away from becoming Guppy. One thing I didn't even mention, because things got dicey right after this happened, but we beat the odds on our last floor. And got a deal with the devil that uh, we deserved. I mean, we, we can't do much else to... Ooh, that's good stuff. We can't do much else to give ourselves a better chance of getting a deal with the devil in that situation. Minus, you know, blowing up the shopkeeper before we fight the boss on that floor. But I digress. Uh, the point is, could still be a while. If the guppy transformation is going to happen, it could still be a while. Very surprised that's not our secret room. Continue to be surprised. That's not our secret room. I was gonna say I'm wary because I think it might actually get the mushrooms here. Technically, we don't need Dark Prince's crown. I put on my nerd voice for that, which is actually just my my normal voice. Technically, we don't need Dark Prince's crown. Well, if you look at the stack, uh, the instant was put on just after the initial cast, so it gets popped first. So, uh, um, unfortunately, your Dispel doesn't count in this situation, but, you know, I can call a judge if you want. That's me being pedantic, but also correct in Magic the Gathering. Which is uh, a, an obviously fictional circumstance, because most of the time, it's somebody else explaining the rules to me, and they go, I can call a judge if you want, and I just go, ah, I, I mean, I believe you. I don't think that you're lying, and if you're lying, I mean, I'm just gonna let you have it, because it seems like you need it. If, if, if you're willing to lie to get ahead in our Magic the Gathering game, you know what? The win's, yours all, the win's all yours, buddy. That mushroom has a little little divot out of it. So I, again, made potentially a stupid decision. Essentially, I traded three Spirit Hearts away for the privilege of having item rooms on the womb. We're making a lot of very fast and loose decisions on this run. Our damage also... I, I, I have a couple of things to talk about here. First thing, our damage continues to be terrible. Secondly, we have Chaos, so I was talking about our deal with the Devil as if that's our only Guppy chance, but uh, in actuality, it's not. We can get Guppy items essentially anywhere. I do want to go to the Curse Room, though, if we can swing it, but the, uh, the real problem right now is more this damage and DPS sort of side of things. It's... It's lovely that we're... Uh, I'm a little frightened again. It's lovely that we're able to uh, get these guppy items anywhere, but it's also very scary right now. Because our HP is bad and our DPS is bad. Now, my HP being bad is is genuinely... Of, oh, you idiot. I could have kicked it out, but, like, you made it tough on me, didn't you? Our luck is two right now. I'm just wary about flies. Look, I... Yeah, exactly. 
I thought there was a pretty good chance we would get an HP upgrade here, but that judgment paid out with a troll bomb. This is why when you, like, make decisions in Isaac, you should make them being a little conservative. Because instead, I've chosen to make them, like, as aggressively as possible here. I hate... I hate that you did that to me there. And it, it's created a, a bad situation. I think I would almost rather open these and look for spirit hearts. They're so slow moving and yet I'm like mind flooded beyond belief. We can't stop the finger from dealing damage. Dude, we got a spirit heart out of it. I'm losing my mind. We're so lucky. <laughs> We can't stop the finger from dealing damage. So we have to be very careful with enemies that explode or otherwise present a hazard upon death. We don't want to accidentally kill them when they're close to us. Basically is what I'm getting at here. We also don't want to take this pill. We got to play way, way, way more conservatively here. We don't want to take the pill because the pill could very easily result in our deaths. Or at least contribute to our deaths. I don't think we can use uh, the black hole properly here. And we have fallen behind schedule. I will take credit for falling behind schedule because I have uh, squandered some of this run. At the same time, I am a little cheesed off that we continue to have base damage at uh, Catacombs 2. But the shop... Could do some great things for me. Just make sure you're staying away from uh, the mushrooms, which could explode. How did you live? You're like one sustained black hole. And then also a Bob's brain shot, like right to the dome piece. Either way, we're, we're making it, we're making it. I'm a little, I, found, I find my personality a little uh, muted on this run because I've been so scared the whole time, but I've done it to myself. Book of Belial is fine, but not specifically what we want. And this is double Bracano runes. And a health upgrade pill. I took the pill on a whim, and that's not skill. That's entirely luck. Thank God it happened when it... Did. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God it happened when it did, though. So let's get stacked here. Compound fracture. Oh, we got no restock, so... Um, we're not going to get anything else, but this is still very good. Bob's brain has almost killed me. That's the most embarrassing thing for me, because Bob's brain is like... It's a pussycat, as far as items go. How many times have we been down this, you know, Bob's brain... Road. You guys don't explode, huh? More t more times than I'd like to admit. To still take damage from Bob's brain is an admission of, of great personal shame. Do we know this? It's telepills. Sure. Um, we have still not improved our damage, but compound fracture is a good item. No question. Is that our? It is our HP up. Okay. Everything is. <laughs> Very, very slightly coming up Millhouse now. Empress, two of clubs. Two of clubs, and we just got 25 bombs there. Error room, please. No error room, also completely fine. We actually have two HP upgrades. I'm loving life. Dude, this run has been, well, it's been taking its toll on me. It said goodbye too many times before whoa, war. Um, I can't believe it was that floor when we smelted. I think there's an off chance we could make boss rush. I really don't know how much we want to invest in that opportunity. That was terrible. Don't kick my bomb. He kicked my bomb! Mom. Um... Like, I, again, I don't know if it's a bug or it's working as intended, but there used to be, like, the fact that you'd get two charges every wave in boss rush. It's bad dodge, admittedly. 
If you get two charges every wave, that's effectively a black hole every wave of boss rush. Not, like, not two... Well, no, it's a black hole every two waves, I guess. My math does not check out. Brain's a little fuzzy this morning, apparently. Just hold it together here. I'm not necessarily seeking the boss room right now, but I wouldn't turn it away. I'm hoping we get some shops en route. En route? I don't know. That's one of those words people tell you you're saying it wrong, even though there's two genuine pronunciations. Slipped into a little vintage Michael Kind. Well, we'll definitely fight the first boss. And it's one of the more annoying bosses in the game, but we've kept him... Oh, I guess he's so strong and fast that he has the capabilities to uh, get out of the event horizon of a black hole. Sure, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I understand where you're coming from on that one. Yeah, I mean, like, haven't you seen the movie Interstellar? Look, I realize I'm being needlessly pedantic about the situation in general, but at the same time, come on here. How is the enemy able to navigate outside of a black hole? That's the value proposition of a black hole. If you didn't want it to be pedantic, then don't call it a black hole. Call it like a hot tub drain or something like that. I could escape the bounds of a hot tub drain. I love as I play, um, Kami Conception by the way is, is swell, especially if we can get an uh, arcade on this floor with the blood bank in it. but. I love that I can tell how Austin's Battlegrounds games are going while I'm playing Isaac because the Bob's brain damage is, I, I'm genuinely apologetic, but uh, it's like Austin has started playing Battlegrounds and then 11 minutes later, doesn't mean it's a bad run, just, you know, means that he died, uh, Austin is now playing Super Hexagon and then Austin is now playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's good, you know, you need something in the... Something in the background to help you out when you when you die in that game. I wouldn't know because I've never. Ooh, this is a little dicey. Died in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. In fact, I've never died in any video game in history. I think that dying is for babies. Honestly, if if I'm just being a hundred percent with you, virtual dying at least. Let's crack it. Sure. Describe Scorpio as like positively an item that exists. Not really. Yeah, that boss is now playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Not necessarily uh, a good item, but sure. You know, if we have 3.52 damage, I'm not gonna turn up my nose because I have a problem with his baggy clothes. He was a scorpion. His ochre was medio. That doesn't really make sense, but it's kind of clever. It wasn't good enough for him, and now he's losing the streak. The audience interest peaked. Um, does your <laughs> synergy see what it's worth? Dude, how can you leap away from the bounds of a black hole? Is sucking you in. Madness, imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute failure. Stay on target. We have 98 cents. So the actual game plan here is you take petrified poop. We don't want more money. We want more spirit hearts, which can sometimes show up on uh, on poops. I don't know if petrified poop changes the odds or if it just gives you a better chance of getting a payout, which in turn gives you an absolute better chance of getting a spirit heart. Oh my god. Not all of this damage is my fault. And I'm not trying to, uh, to shirk responsibility. But at some point, you gotta look at a run like this and go, what are we supposed to do with 3.5 damage? There's... I, un unless I can will more damage into existence, it's kind of hard. I just walked directly on the spike that time. So that's not really making a good case for me. Are you a wizard? But, sincerely... Like, this run is not giving me a whole heck of a lot to work with. Should we have given up, you know, some of the HP that we took? No. D doubtlessly, no. But I dispute this being entirely, you know, Oh, look at this run, NL's taking so much bad damage. I don't, I don't see it that way. At least I don't see it fully that way. A lot of the... The Bob's brain damage, don't even talk to me. Because that I'm I'm as upset as anybody could be about that damage. 
But some of this damage is well within the bounds of reason. And of course, the, the somewhat ironic thing is that Bob's Brain and Black Hole are actually a good combo, so I do believe that taking them was the right decision. Just would have been better if I had uh, taken less damage from Bob's Brain itself, which I, I know I have every capability within my, within my body to do because we've done it a million times before. Please, please, thank you. That was good. I had like a, a flash of inspiration there and I was like, there's gonna be a guppy item in that golden chest. Then there was not and now I just feel betrayed. Gotta save our keys to some extent. We're borderline screwed on the next floor. Sounds like a name of a really exploitative adult website, but we are, like, actually in a really, really bad place on the next floor. We, we need to stack up absolute HP. Any form of HP. Stack it up, stack it in, let me begin. If we don't get some fuel, we're not gonna win. Damage, tears up. Something from the shop stuff. Yes, this is me attempting to make a freestyle rap parody of Jump Around for some reason. We only have one key. One key is enough to get into the shop. This actually... I mean, this is no good, but we'll take it. Because I'm an idiot. Uh, and we'll also take our key as well. And then we'll grab the world card and just use that to find our secret rooms. But I'm going to donate a little bit of money, but not until we play this Joker right here. I want to play the Blood Bank some more, if possible, um, because there's a chance we can get a Dark Bomb out of that, and that would be a huge help. Not out of the Blood Bank specifically, but... Wow. Not out of the Blood Bank specifically, but out of the, um... Cambian Conception plays from the Blood Bank, enabling them. Okay, we still got 63 cents. So the, the Secret Room was close. It was... Like... Maybe here? I've lost sight of it, which I think is fair given the circumstances, but annoying nonetheless. There we go. Another spirit heart and an eternal heart. So you know what? Screw came being conception, which is a great item, and I don't mean that. I mean that it's a great item. What I don't mean is screw that item. But we're going to be moving onwards here instead because I'm... Happy with the haul that we picked up. We have basically doubled our HP. Anytime you find yourself in the ability, or with the ability to double your HP. We haven't even fought Mom yet, I just realized. But anytime you find yourself with the ability to double your HP, you've got to remember that probably means your initial HP was pretty bad. Like, you can double your HP by getting a single HP upgrade. In this case, though, we got two HP upgrades. Thank you very much. No Krampus, please. No Krampus, please. No deal. That's not really what I meant, but thank you for no Krampus, at least. We will keep our HP alive to the next floor, which was looking a little sus for a while there to, to millennialize it. We're on Scarred Womb XL, so we're in, like, almost exactly the same situation, where I find myself being like, well, <laughs> we might be able to make the hush fight work. But do we really, like, is the juice worth the squeeze? So we have Tammy's head, um, which honestly seems like... It's a testament to how bad our damage is right now that Tammy's head seems like exactly on par with Black Hole. Because if our damage is like a 4 out of 10, not a, not an absolute 4, but a 4 out of 10, um, we probably go with, uh, with Tammy's head because it's great. Instead, we were like, well, the black hole at least keeps enemies mostly locked down, so it's hard for me to, to say no to black hole right now. The synergy exists. Uh, Onsus, please. The Yera rune does also exist, so I'm happy if we can make it to the chest there. I'm at least a happy camper. This is a, a bizarre archetype that's been popping up in Isaac way and way uh, more frequently lately. 
is just like no damage. We finally got damage right as I was about to pop off on the <laughs> from a discourse standpoint, but I, I guess because there's like so many um well, it, first off it could just be a sampling error. It could be variants basically. Like I think because rarely are damage ups being added. It's like tier effects and spacebar items are the the most common items it seems at least. So there's very few like raw damage upgrades that seem to be added and I think it's thinned the pool for damage to the point that it's a little, you know, I think it has by by flooding the market it's made the the runs a little weaker on average overall, which is fine, but dude to to not get any damage upgrades by what is essentially the eighth floor of the game, thanks to the XL floors here, is a little, uh, is a little crazy. Of course, then, like, I look like a little baby, because we, uh, well, now we're guppy. <laughs> and we can fly, and we did get a damage upgrade on this floor as well, but I digress, dude. There was, there was a lot of tough situations in there that we did not necessarily have to live through. So, now we'll be fine, and, you know, it's a good first run of the day, because... The odds are, and I'm dooming myself by saying this, obviously, but the odds are it probably won't get tougher than this today, which is good. A lot of this pain was self-inflicted. In hindsight, was Bob's brain the right pickup? I, I say yes, and I mishandled it. That's my position on the matter. That's my Council of Nicaea on Bob's brain. I could have done a lot better with it. We're not going to make the hush fight. Not that I would uh, necessarily deign to do that in the first place here, but given how things have been on this run, but anyway, you get the idea. You might be saying, NL, you're getting a little cocky for someone who's, you know, not got a whole heck of a lot of HP. Yeah, but like, it's nine lives and guppy, and we've got a spacebar item that at this point, if we have it for a boss, probably allows us to, uh, to kill the boss without getting hit. It is conceivable that we could die. I mean, our raw stats are still not that good. Is, is really what it comes down to. Um, wait, there should be item rooms down here. We, we smelted that trinket long ago, so... Watch out. Number two combined with... Uh, oh, I didn't even... See, I got tricked by my own black hole there. Uh, number two combined with... Black hole is pretty good, because it sucks the bombs away from you, right as they could have hit you. Which I... Respect and appreciate. We could still lose this. Our stats are not that good was what I was just saying there. Uh, but I think we're likely going to be beyond okay. We don't need too much more. I mean, the extra spirit arts are a, are a bounty. It's very generous of the game and I appreciate it. In fact, there should be two item rooms uh, for us on this floor. The only question is whether or not we're going to be able to find any of them. Excuse me, sir, you didn't happen to see anything at all, did you? It's a deep cut from Austin Powers. That's how you know I'm a super fan who goes to Powers Con every year. Not to be confused with the other Powers Con, which is the super fans of the PlayStation Digital show Powers. We got Dark Matter, great Andrew Bird song, uh, and also. A decent damage upgrade here. I do still want to go to the item. I mean, we've explored literally it's got to be like 85% of this floor. Why stop now? Grab... Uh, we got 100% devil deal chance, so don't grab the HP just yet. This should be easy, dude. Goppy just transforms, uh, pun intended, I suppose, the, the run so quickly. You know what? This is the kind of run where this makes perfect sense. So what are we going to do with Plan C, of all things? I mean, I guess I'm going to use it to, especially with our HP being bad, I'm going to use it to kill every boss that we come across for the rest of the game. Seems appropriate and applicable to me. So we did get two item rooms. Second item room, another guppy item. Shade is basically not worth anything, but life goes on. 
We, we became super guppy, which of course I'm very pleased by. You dropped a trinket that's actually very good, but with 10 lives, I don't think we care about our survivability that much. Well, 10, nine lives and then a question mark. I don't think we care about our survivability that much. Instead, excuse me. Uh, instead, we're basically just gonna go find the boss, press the space bar, and they may die. And this is basically hell freezing over. We have gotten to the point where we are using plan C on a run. You know, the, the plot has been lost. It's a new era. What is left here? A, a single poop, per chance to dream. I don't know why I'm worried about picking up HP. Seems a little ill-advised. Okay, 26 keys is actually nice because it means if we get like a second Yara rune, which I don't even know how we'd make that happen, but with chaos, who knows, dude. It means that we might uh, be able to double twice and still have enough keys to open everything. I guess we do want to live long enough uh, to be able to make sure we make it to the boss fight to use Plan C. Although, if we use Plan C on um, on a room that's annoying, the, the, like, there's no... It's not written in the code that it has to be used on a boss. I'm assuming it recharges, by the way, that it's not like a forget-me-now. Although, it looks exactly like forget-me-now, but that's, a, you know, a topic for another day, I suppose. Um, not exactly. It is a different color, but... I think... Uh, I think it's reusable. If you can only use it once, we're going to find out pretty quickly. For now, it's like, it's a new day. Who knows? Maybe this is going to be the day of strange Isaac choices. Like maybe I'll end up using the clicker today. The I know you're saying, NL, don't be ridiculous, but Plan C is the item that I've... I've railed against, like, more... I don't like using the word railed in that way. It opens up all sorts of Pandora's box, double entendres, but... Um, sounds like an adult film series where people have intercourse on a train, is all I'm trying to suggest. Foamers. But... Plan C is probably my least favorite item in the game. And we used the glass cannon not too long ago, either. It's like, it's just proof that anything can happen. Although it still probably shouldn't. <laughs> Anything can happen, but it probably shouldn't. Alright, so let's give it a try here. Get dusted, Yun. We used it and... No, we did still die and we lost Plan C. But still, we used... That should be an achievement, honestly, to justify its existence. We used Plan C effectively. I thought we could use it more than once, but... Life absolutely goes on. Okay, this, this, I mean, could be worse. Let's be honest. Pentagram. Bomber Boy is very scary. But the, uh, the tears up from the screws is, is welcomed. The damage up from Pentagram is nice. At this point, it basically comes down to, we're racing against time to try to live here. We got nine plus lives, though. Well, no, we have eight plus lives, technically. Um... Remember, we lost our spacebar item, so we could roll Mr. Boom, but I kind of like the idea that if we survive for six rooms without taking damage, um, we'll get... Oh, hey, Dark Bum from Cambian Conception. That's a surprise. I like the idea that we'll get some invincibility here if we uh, play our cards right. So Belly Button is a second trinket. You know what? Let's give it a shot. It was not at all even close to worth it, but... At this point, we can afford to, to roll the dice a little bit. Ultimately, this ended up being a fun run. And it, it is still indeed not over, but... Uh, ultimately, this did end up being a fun run. I have found myself uh, a little frightened on a couple of different occasions. We have, and I'm remiss to, or I'm loath to say it because I want to take 100% credit for the win here, but... Um, the game, that was so bad, did save us on a number of occasions. Like, perfectly timed spirit heart drops. We finally, eventually got damage. Um, but it was it was not an easy one. Especially, like, we were not carried at all through the first few floors. We've now created a run where apparently I can just 
take damage willy-nilly and it's no problem. Like, oh yeah, number two bomber boy uh, with Bob's brain and I'm not even sweating it. So that's just basically the run getting super lucky. Um, and I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that because if it had pre proceeded on the quality that it was stuck at for a long time, I think we would have just been completely screwed. But instead, we're... We're getting more on the chest than we got on, like, the entire run leading up to the chest. And it looks like we're going to come out with six wins in a row and plan C. So although, from a commentary standpoint, a little samey, from a game standpoint, mildly zany. We got... And, and what boggles my mind is that it was actually productive. We got productive use out of, uh... Out of plan C. It wasn't just shoehorned in. It actually cost us almost nothing to kill Isaac instantly, so... Um, I'm not saying it's good. The run basically changes 0% by us uh, choosing not to use it. But we did get value out of it. On a, in a very, very forgiving way, we got value out of it. So the flies are going to dust you, dude. I'm very sorry to tell you this. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but... You, you didn't get dusted quite as quickly as I thought you would. No void portal merciful win. Thank you. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time.